Today's Angler is brought to you by Chaos Tackle, Vex and Fishing, Tuffy Boats, Custom X, Esox Assault, and Lee Lures Custom Bait. Hey, Lee Talkin here with Today's Angler. What I'm going to show you today is one of the most overlooked things in our fishing tackle arsenal today, and that's sharp hooks. And I don't care if you're fishing a bait like this with giant 5 aught treble hooks, or if you're fishing a little walleye crankbait like this with size 6 or 8 treble hooks, or even if you're fishing something as simple as a lead head jig like that. If you bounce this thing off a rock and get that hook point slightly into the rock, it's going to keel that point over and you are going to miss a lot more fish. So most importantly, you're going to want to start with a good sharpener. I've used pretty much everything out there. A lot of them will work, but if you're dealing with large hooks especially, this Lure Jensen uh, yellow handled, I don't know, five and a half, yeah, five and a half inch hook file. This is my go-to file. So a love in my tackle box is a fresh hook sharpener. And to keep that hook sharpener fresh, I don't do it myself, but if I could just get myself to constantly do it every week or so, just spray a little WD on that, and that'll keep it from rusting. Uh, the other thing you don't want to do is lay it in the bottom of the boat, because you step on this, it's done. So for demonstration purposes, we're going to show you this. I don't know, I think this is a 13 or 14 aught treble hook. This will be a lot easier to get an idea of how I actually sharpen the hook. And probably the biggest key to sharpening a hook is the angle of which you put the file. You know, so many guys, they say, oh yeah, I sharpen my hooks. Yeah, and then they sharpen it like that and they're taking the point right off of the thing. So the key to proper hook sharpening is the angle of not putting the angle too aggressive like that. You want to have it very, very low to the angle of the hook. And before I even start here, what I want to kind of show is how I do this. And what I actually do to beginning of the hook sharpening is I will actually sharpen the inside length of the barb. I'm going to create a triangular cutting edge along the edge of the barb there. And you'll see the metal will actually disappear from the barb itself. And, and we'll show you that close up. But basically, I'm going to take the sharpener and take the hook and... The best way to show this, I'm going to go down the inside length of the barb. And I always like to push away from me. For me, that works. You could go towards you as well. Okay. So the other key to good hook sharpening is physically looking where the metal has disappeared from. And as you can see, the hook is bronze, and then the hook now is silver going down the inside length of the barb. Let me turn that slowly. See if you can get an angle of that. And you can see I haven't gone up the length of the barb yet. This is a very thick, big hook. It's a little oversized, if you will. So I'll, that will need a few more passes to get down the length of the barb itself. Okay, so I'll turn here. See all my angles really tight to the hook. Okay, now we're gonna look physically there we go. See, now the inside length of the barb is completely silver all the way up to that. All right, so that's one side. Now I kind of took my time on that one. Once you get good at it and comfortable with it, this side you'll be able to see easier, actually. I'll go faster. And you can actually see the metal disappearing, and it's turning silver. Okay, so we'll get all the way up the whole length of the barb. We're just straighten that. We're really creating a knife edge on the inside of that barb. This one's got a little divot out of the hook there, so it's not completely turning it all silver inside. But okay, so now there, we've created a perfect knife edge along that inside of the barb. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to basically kind of round it all the way around the outside of the hook point. So I'll start on one side. And this, you don't really take much metal off at all. You just go all the way around the edge of the, the outside edge, just like that. And I'll put that against my thumb. You might be able to see it better, but that thing is an absolute razor. So now watch, I'll go to this other point. There's an unsharpened point. 
That is brutally dull. I mean, you wouldn't have a chance of hooking a fish on that thing. So we'll go back to the sharp one. Good way to test your hook, how sharp it is. A lot of people have seen this. Put it on your thumbnail. And look how that just slides right off my thumbnail like that. Barely even scratches it. Now I'll turn to the point that I've sharpened and that thing just catches, sticks right in every time. And that's that monster of a hook still catching just like that. So it's not just important having the proper angle of your file, but it's also important to visually inspect your hook point and make sure that you're taking metal away from the proper areas of the hook to get that point sharp like that. Once you've learned to perfect this, you will catch way more fish, I guarantee it. Oh,